Okay, today we are going to make our three-dimensional water lily to put on top of our lily pad that we already glued together. In front of you, you should have your three cut out circles that you painted already with our visible brush strokes because the impressionist artist did not smooth out all of their paint. They made them visible. We are going to do the same thing to each one of these circles to begin with in order to um, turn it into a three-dimensional flower. So first, you need to take one circle and you're gonna fold it completely in half. Line up the sides, hold it still, and then push down nice and hard on the edge. And then we're going to fold it again in half another time. You might have to get your finger in there and put out the corner. Hold it still, fold it in half, and then you're gonna fold it in half again. So this is gonna be where the halfway mark is, where your corner is. So I'm gonna fold it this way, line up those two edges, hold it still, and push this down. If you need somebody to help you hold things still or push them down really hard, you can. Another good trick to help you push it down is to take a pair of scissors and run the handle along the edge. It'll make it nice and creased. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to my other two circles. We need to make flower petals out of these. So if we have them sitting here like ice cream cones, the middle of the top is right here. From that middle part, I'm gonna draw a line coming down to the side and down to the other side. They can be straight, so it can be like a triangle, or it can be kind of rounded. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna do the same thing because I want all my flower petals to look the same on all of them. Then you're gonna take your scissors, cut along that line, hold it really still with one hand, cut that line, and I'm gonna cut the little tiny tip off the end. So if this was a real snow cone or a real ice cream cone, it would all come out the bottom. I'm gonna cut this one, cut on that line, and cut the tiny little tip off the end. My third one, and the tip off the end. So now I have three things that look like flower, flower petals, and I'm going to open them up. Magic, it looks like a flower already. And I have three of them. Now, they're all the same size right now, so if we wanted a flat flower, a two-dimensional flower, this would probably do a really good job of making a two-dimensional flower, but we want it to be three-dimensional. So we have to do one more thing to these. We are going to take one of our flowers. It's going to be the very bottom flower. On one of those folds, you're going to cut one line, and that's it. So now it is open. <clears throat> On another one, this is going to be the middle flower petals. I'm going to cut one flower petal out. So it doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to cut on this fold and this fold and cut it completely out. And I can put that off to the side for now. Then on this one, this is going to be the middle piece. I'm going to cut out two petals. So the first one is just one slit. The second one is one flower petal out. And the third one is two flower petals out. So I'm going to cut there, count one, two, cut again. I'm going to set that off to the side. So now I have three flower petals, three flowers, 
one with one slit, one with one flower petal missing, one with two flower petals missing. Now we're going to start gluing them together. So we're gonna use liquid glue. Just open the top, pick off any dry glue that's on there. Our first one, where the we cut just one time, those two flower petals are going to be glued together. So our flower is gonna to start to stand up. So I know that this one is gonna overlap that one. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. Not too much. We want enough to stick, but not too much that it makes floods everywhere. And I'm going to push these together and maybe count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That little extra part, it'll be all right. I'll just wipe it off. You can get a paper towel if you need to. The next one, we're gonna do the same thing, except because one more is missing, it's gonna curve even more. But one flower petal is going to overlap the other one. Now I have three flowers, a big one, a medium sized one, and a little one, and they all stack inside of each other. Your flower petals, if you want them to be straight, sticking out like that, you can, or we can curl them around. So you can curl with your fingers to make the flower petals kind of curl down, or you might want to take a pencil and curl the paper down the pencil. So kind of start it on one end and roll it down to make your flower petals curl a little bit more. So I can see which one my biggest one is, which one my medium one is, and the small one. We can make our flower petals kind of making a pattern so that they're not all right on top of each other, kind of overlapping differently. And on the inside, we can use tissue paper and you can choose different colors. And I'm gonna crumple it up and we can glue that in at the very end, some purple and some white, and that'll be the inside of our flower. So you get to choose on your lily pad paper where you want your flower to go. It could go right on top of your lily pad. If it covers it up too much, you can put it off to the side because we know that sometimes they're on top of the lily pads, sometimes they're not. You get to choose. So we will do them with me, gluing them with hot glue onto your lily pad paper. And then after that, you can go ahead and use regular liquid glue to crumple little pieces of tissue paper and glue them inside your flower to finish it off. And that's how we're going to make our three-dimensional lily pad. There it is.